What's going on YouTube? Today we have got from Mac Rumors a report saying that the GPU in the M1 Max processor is three times more powerful than what was in the M1. So we're going to dive into this and what it means. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the cultural impact of these machines. So if you're into that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss. So we cover your favorite tech and video games. I'm Chris Grant Jr. It's the Granny Geek Show. All right, so we already had numbers for the CPU performance of the M1 Max chip coming in at single core scores of 1749 and multi-core scores of 11,542, all in that ballpark. So we know this thing is gonna be a beast. This is the M1 Max processor. The single core score is slightly better, and I think that's what we could expect from the X version of the chip, really, where the M1X, uh, M1 Max, sorry, and M1 Pro, where they shine, is going to be in the multitude of cores that they just cram into this thing not necessarily a better chip so for that we'll have to wait for m2 but now we have our first look at the gpu scores in metal for the new m1 max chip coming in three times more powerful three times higher of a score than we typically see so the score is 68,870, and 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 it's kind of a mind-boggling number because yes this is power that you would see in external graphics cards. And I was talking to Bram Shank just a couple of days ago on the channel about the possibility of external GPUs for these new M1 uh, Max computers and stuff like that. This was before the keynote came out and I said, yeah, what Apple will really have to do is they'll have to match external GPUs in order for me to really feel like I just don't need an external GPU. And it looks like they're doing it. Now, of course, real world performance has yet to be tested, but based on the numbers alone, it looks like that's what we're gonna be getting. Uh, people can ditch their eGPU enclosures. If you're with Intel uh, MacBook Pros with eGPUs, which was like the most amazing setup. I used to love having just the eGPU and the computer on a stand with cooling and all these displays hooked up my personal preference but now it doesn't seem that we need this so let me just put this i want to talk about the cultural impact of this because the m1 was already a great video editing machine anything 1080p or even one or two 4k streams uh was so doable on m1 and the export times were phenomenal fantastic even with overlays and color correction and things like that and one was a beast and i've used davinci resolve i use it in premiere pro and i use it in final cut of course final cut is more optimized than any other software uh, but just seeing now three times more powerful and they were quoting crazy numbers uh 30 streams of 4k uh, ProRes at the Apple event they were saying they could do like that many and I think something like seven eight K's or something like that so uh, you know this thing is just ridiculously powerful so for the average youtuber for the average content creator uh, these devices are going to be absurd and it's it's just another way to unleash and just make it that much easier for people to get in to content creation what they've done with ProRes on the iPhone 13 Pro Max having an internal uh, afterburner basically on the A15 chip and now having the same thing in these Macs, they're telling people, hey, go out and shoot ProRes 4K video, bring it right into your M1 Max uh, or M1 Pro, MacBook Pro, and you'll be able to make some incredible stuff. And it's not just that, even footage coming out of cameras that we traditionally use, I shoot on Lumix, uh, it's just going to breeze through this stuff like no problem. It's gonna cut right through it like butter with overlays, with effects. I can't wait to see uh, people just doing ridiculous things that we didn't think was, were possible on a laptop with these new M1Xs. In a lot of ways, I've talked to a lot of the tech YouTubers around and people are still trying to catch up with M1 in a lot of ways, the rest of the industry. And now M1X is just, with the core counts, it's just, it's it's blowing it all out of the water. So very interesting numbers here. Can't wait to test it in the wild. I'll be getting my hands on one of these as soon as possible, guys. So you know what you gotta do. Hit the subscribe button. You know what I'm gonna do. Hit the subscribe button. Take the Now miss. This is becoming your favorite tech and video games. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Seriously. It's the Granite Geek Show.